opportunity to transfer laterally to electrical engineering, which was my uh, field. And then we moved to the Gallon building and also uh, were up at East Pine for a while. There were a, a group of people who uh, remember the Gallon building, but I think now that uh, there might not be anybody uh, left here that I know of that can remember that far back. Things that uh, make the work uh, very uh, exciting, and that's that's just part of it. And the uh, camaraderie with the people is uh, probably the most uh, thing that you experience uh, more more often. Well, I think my most recent work working with contractors. And architects has been very interesting. You have to go out on the site, look at everything, and meet with them. I'm not, I'm a people person, so I enjoyed those contacts. Well, in the past, I've had contacts with telephone company um, quite a bit. I guess my people contacts. Well, I think work hard, be interested in your work, and take classes to and examinations, of course, to, to improve yourself, because you're not just here for your health. You do want to um, get higher pay, do more interesting work. So I worked as a lineman, uh, and at the time I left here, in 1963, uh, I had Jimmy Davis as my pool partner, and uh, I went over to the engineering department. You see, at that time, there was not many of these bucket trucks. Now there's lots of them. But back in those days, there wasn't that many. And uh, you thought in terms of climbing poles for 20 years, uh, that didn't seem too appealing to me maybe when I was 20 years older. So I. I went over to the engineering department and passed the test and got over there. And I was there for 16 and a half years for the traffic signal. And uh, at the end of that time, I made a transfer back to city light, back to street lighting. And uh, so then I've been working in street lighting ever since then.